On this episode of Brutal Foods, Great Value Mini Pizza Bagels, Totino's Party Pizza Pepperoni, Screaming Sicilian Holy Pepperoni Pepperoni, and the Red Baron Pizza Melt. And here's today's video host, Ian Pepperoni. Hello and welcome to Pizza Review Show, the only show where pizza gets reviewed. I'm your host, Ian Pepperonis. This is episode 853 of Pizza Review Show. And man, I wish someone would just put me out of my misery already. It's the Great Value Cheese and Pepperoni Mini Pizza Bagels. At $2.24, they do seem like a great value, but will they be taste good? Probably no. For those who don't know, Great Value is a Walmart brand label for affordable products, which is why this product is so affordable. Mini bagels topped with tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, and pepperoni. I gotta say, it's kind of a no frills box here. There's not any real descriptors for what I should be expecting taste wise outside of the uh, little blurb here that says delicious and bite size. But that's a pretty good guarantee, I'd say. Was that cool? The bagels look, eh, okay. They got the really chunky cheese and the really chunky frozen peps. I, I can't say that it looks great. It looks very cubular. And I'm not like a huge fan of uh, specifically the cube pepperoni chunks. I prefer a pepperoni slice. Now believe it or not, I'm not really big into pizza bagels. I've, I've had a pizza bagel you know, time and again, but it's not something I actively seek out, and it's not really something I grew up with. I grew up with pizza rolls, not pizza bagels. But I'm still willing to give it a shot. Uh, it's Walmart brand, so I don't have high hopes, but, I mean, they look okay, so I have at least some hopes. What's your verdict, MJ? They say the preferred method is the oven, and they specifically say that the in the microwave they will be softer. So I'm gonna uh, split the difference and do toaster oven. Uh, all right, let's get cooking. These things are toasty warm. I definitely gotta give them some time to cool off, but man oh man, did they smell pretty good while they were cooking. I feel like I'm at uh, Mama Papa Bricolini's Pizzeria. Uh, Mamma Mia. They look a little weird. I'm just not used to so many little cubes on my foods. A little alien looking to me, like a deconstructed alien version of pizza. It smells pretty good, and I am pretty hungry. Is it a bit cannibalistic for a pizza man to eat a pizza bagel? Yeah, sure is. That's not too bad. good, honestly. They're warm, uh, the bottom is nice and crunchy, the topping is nice and warm. warm. They are a little soft in the middle, I'm not sure if you can see that, but uh, the bottom is nice and crunchy. The mid part of the bagel is a little smooshy. Uh, not so into the smoosh, 
but I do love that crunch. Oh yeah. These are pretty tasty, but a little bland. Can something be tasty but bland at the same time? It definitely smelled better than it tastes. The cheese and the sauce, just a bit weak. Weak on the cheese, weak on the sauce. Uh, doesn't pack a huge punch, but it's nice and warm. And uh, you know, that's good enough for me. It's really not too shabby. Uh, it's definitely not as flavorful as something like a Totino's pizza roll. Um, but you know, it is a great value. Pretty good. And they're pretty good, and they're pretty good. Uh, this is pretty good. I'm gonna give these a uh, five pepperonis. The reviewers on walmart.com have given this product a 3.2 out of five, which I find to be pretty fair. A verified purchaser says, awesome, love them? Better than the name brand one. Doubt, I cannot test that theory today, uh, but I got major doubts about it. Zane gives them one star and says, I did not like the substitute, didn't make any sense he could have or she could have got any other type of mozzarella sticks. It's a very uh, confusing yet progressive review from Zane. Thank you very much, Zane. Spoiled. I cooked these for my daughter and son. I just bought them today. His is fine, but hers was spoiled. I licked the topping to see for myself, and they sure are. I don't know if I'd be comfortable buying these again. I hope she doesn't get don't sick. She ate one before she told me. It's a pretty exciting story, Rachel. I hope your kid's okay. In fact, viewers, you can call in right now and vote. Is Rachel's daughter still alive after eating pizza bagels? Yes or no? She's probably dead. I mean, let's be honest. Okay, so it's been long enough for these things to really cool off and the taste is getting a little weird. So if you get them, be sure to eat them quick because when they cool off, they taste really weird. But all in all, decent snack. Would eat again. And hey, it's a great value if you're into great values. Well, that's all the time we have today on this episode of Pizza Review Show. These uh, mini bagels were pretty good and they have my soft recommendation. Be sure to join me next time for a very special episode where I review a pizza. That's what I do. I'm Ian Pepperonis and I exist to review pizza. It's my only character trait. Bye. Man, that sure was a great episode of my own TV show. I did great, but I'm also kind of hungry now. So I think I'll stand up and walk to my kitchen right away. Have you ever felt trapped in a dream before? Like, even if you were to scream as loudly as you could, it feels like nobody would hear? What do we have here? Totino's Party Pizza, the original crisp crust pepperoni. Seasoned pork, chicken, and beef pizza topping. Is that what pepperoni's made of typically? Pork, chicken, and beef? The back of the box, or uh, bag rather, instructs you to stock your freezer with 10 of these suckers, just in case you get hungry for a party pizza. Not really sure why it's a party pizza, to be honest. It's maybe a little bit bigger than a traditional single serving size uh, frozen pizza. But I mean, if I'm having a party, I'm gonna get a big, I don't know, tombstone sized pizza, not this thing. It's not even really that big. I mean, it's smaller than a sheet of printer paper. I think you are, you know, you're serving this to one person or maybe two fun-sized people, which is uh, how I like to call children. Well, it's very square. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the squarest of them all? It's SpongeBob. Looks pretty good. Honestly, looks a little light 
on the cheese. I could go for some more cheese. I feel like if I can see through to the sauce, you haven't properly cheesed. A cheese. The crust looks weird. The crust is bubbly and rough and just a little odd looking, but it should be fine. It smells kind of like a Lunchable, kind of like a pizza Lunchable. In fact, the bottom kind of looks like a pizza Lunchable. Curious. It kind of looks like a Pop-Tart. It kind of looks like a giant Pop-Tart. I wonder if you put two of them on top of each other, if you could make a giant Pop-Tart. That's a fun science experiment for you kiddos out there when your parents aren't home. <coughs> My director here is telling me I gotta hurry up and eat the pizza, so let's just cook this real quick. Yeah, and here we have a completely cooked Totino's uh, party pepperoni pizza party pizza. To be honest, it smells a little weird, I'd say. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it definitely doesn't smell like a traditional frozen pizza. There's something up with this one. It doesn't smell bad, it just smells a little bit off. Where am I supposed to put this now? I guess I'll just set, <laughs> just set it on the floor. I've been thinking about it while it cools, and you know, this kind of smells like how I remember a Chuck E. Cheese smelling. Not that Chuck E. Cheese, you know, isn't a fine establishment or anything, but it's just got that weird smell. And an even less flattering cooking observation, uh, I noticed that as it heated up, a lot of the toppings slid down the face of the pizza, which makes me think that this is gonna be kind of a soupy experience, and soupy is, one of my least favorite ways to describe a pizza. Was a very crispy crust though, as I cut it, definitely has a crispy crust. Let's go ahead and uh, take a taste. Well, that's unique. Now that's a thinker. I thought it was gonna be really soupy, but well, it's not too bad. The weirdest thing here is definitely the crust. The crust is very mysterious. Crunchy, crispy on the bottom, but mushy just beyond the surface. It's also got a strange taste to it. It almost reminds me of like a fried dough, and the topping kind of tastes like And honestly, the serving size seems more impressive uh, now that I'm looking at it here in front of me. I've already eaten three pieces. I am not interested in eating the whole thing. I could definitely see myself splitting this with somebody. Once again, fail to really taste the pepperoni. These chunk pepperonis just, I mean, they just might as well not even be there. You know, the toppings taste a lot like the innards of a Totino's pizza roll spread upon a freakish open face crust. That's really weird, but honestly not as bad as I expected. I'm gonna give this six pepperonis. Don't know that I'm gonna stock my freezer with them, but I would understand if you did. I gotta say, I think there's something suspicious going on in the Totino's review section. This pizza's got a 4.6 based on thousands of reviews. 4.5 taste, 4.5 value, I just, I don't see it. Bro! Is it gourmet? No. Is it the perfect comfort food? Yes. Is it perfect after a drunk night? Nothing better. Not to mention, Totino's has packed the flavor punch. Okay, yeah, I mean, if you're eating this while drunk, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be great. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you give this a 4.6. Anything above a four, uh, that's, that's suspect though. Nuh-uh. Okay, well, that's all my thoughts on this pizza. It's pretty good, but if it's your favorite pizza, I don't wanna be friends. All right, <laughs> our third pizza of the day is holy pepperoni, pepperoni, pepperoni. 
tomato sauce, and mozzarella cheese. This is a pizza by the Screamin' Sicilian Pizza Co., which I think we can all agree I've never heard of before. You know, above all else, this pizza really screams, I'm single, which means it might be great for a lot of my regular viewers. You know, on the back here, there's a little mustache. Like, you could take uh, the mustache out of the box and wear it if you uh, wanted to pretend what it's like to have a mustache. How do you think I'm supposed to put this thing on? Like, does this go up the nose? That's weird, but effective. Hey, do I look more respectable? Would you trust me more if we encountered each other in an alleyway? I better not be afraid. I'm just here to give you some pizza. All right, nothing too exciting on the back, just the cooking instructions. I am going to be using the conventional oven because uh, I just don't think it's fair to judge these out of the microwave. Eh, but let's see what the inside looks like, shall we? Oh yeah, that's just what I was looking for. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to do some rearranging of the Ronies on here, but you know, it looks pretty good. Even the pepperoni chunks, which I tend to not like, they look a little bit better than the previous pizzas. There's some more color to them. They're a bit bigger and I'm excited. So I'm gonna go cook it now and you guys, are uh, really cool. Thanks. Uh, thanks for watching so much. Hey, I'm back with the delicious smelling pizza. Mamma mia. Do Italians ever say mamma mia? Just like unironically? Disappointing if not, uh, because that means my Italian impression is probably not as spot on as I envision it in my head. Hey, we're gonna cut to the pizza now. Mamma mia. Now this thing smelled legit while cooking. The crust seems nice and thick and kind of hard to cut through. Okay, visual inspection. Um, I'm saying that it looks pretty good. The crust seems crispy but fluffy. I mean, it's kind of a pretty thick pizza there. Toppings look plentiful. Uh, it definitely seems just visually like we've gone into another bracket. We've gone up from the value pizzas into you know a more serious contender when it comes to taste. And hey, at three dollars and ninety-eight cents, uh, it's probably a pretty good deal. Uh, let's let's do it though. Let's let's get uh, eaten. <laughs> hey, survived. That's pretty good technology. Okay, taste test. I'm gonna go with one that has a lot of pepperoni on it. Yeah, I mean that's a nice looking slice. You know, it looks a little soggy, but uh, not too bad. Honestly, the toppings look great. Eh. I don't know how I feel about that at first. Don't know how I feel about that. So the crust, great. Pepperonis, great. What I'm not sure about is the sauce and the cheese. I don't know how to describe the sensations that I'm feeling on my taste bud lumpy bits. It's pretty good. It reminds me of like a DiGiorno. There's something going on with the cheese where it's like kind of a melty lump and it's got a certain taste to it. Um, you know what I'm talking about. It's almost like the cheese is slimy. Like not stretchy or gooey like I want it to be, but slimy. It's weird because it's undoubtedly, oh! It's a little odd to describe because it's undoubtedly a higher quality pizza than the last two, but I don't think that I prefer it. I'd rather not taste the topping at all than taste the topping and dislike it. That cheese slime is a little um, overwhelming. Yeah, I don't know that I want to eat any more of this. Uh, as, as fine as it is, it's just not my cup of tea. Even though it's higher quality, it's also uh, don't taste uh, very good. I'm gonna give this one like a, a three pepperonis, maybe like a 2.5 pepperonis. I honestly think that if it was a thin crust pizza, I'd like it a lot more, even with the weird cheese. Uh, but as it stands, it's kind of a smushy, squishy, mushy, squishy, 
uh, pepperoni Tony. I will say that these uh, pepperonis are by far and away my favorite so far. <laughs> Screamin' Sicilian Pepperoni Pepperoni Pizza Pepperoni gets a three out of five on Walmart.com. I really could not find that many reviews of this pizza, if I'm being honest. This Walmart rating is only based on two reviews. If you are a passionate defender of the Screamin' Sicilian Pepperoni Single Frozen Pizza, you gotta get on the review game. Not enough reviews of this thing. Joy gives it five stars and leaves no comment, while Tiffany gives it one star and says, didn't get them, and when I got home saw they had been sub for some off the walls pizza. So it sounds like she didn't even get the pizza and she still reviewed it. Good job, Tiffany. Way to go. Hey guys, guess what's under here? All right, wow. This is the best thing I've eaten all day, easily. It's like a pizza panini. You've got two slices of toast, a little bit of sauce, a lot of cheese, and some really good pepperonis. They taste a lot like the French bread, fr uh, French, French. I didn't think anything could match the French bread Red Barons. Those were always my favorite, but I don't know. This could be a little bit better. This is uh, definitely like a 20 pepperoni experience. I'm super impressed. Uh, but the one problem is that this is a sandwich and not a pizza. So it's got to be disqualified. And that's all I, uh, I can say about it now. Sponsored by HelloFresh. Mm. Knock, knock, there at the door. You and I skipped the grocery store thanks to HelloFresh. HelloFresh. Eating healthy can be stress free. 35 weekly recipes. Mm. HelloFresh. HelloFresh. Cheaper year round, 25% less than take out. Who's that? It's Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code BRUTALMOOSE21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com code BRUTALMOOSE21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping.